Mama Major from Spelman College, and you are watching a newvillage.com. Ow! Tonight you will be seeing a little snippet of my one-woman show that me and Jere have been working tirelessly on. Um, your beautiful, beautiful soul that put all this together asked me to give you some accolades. I don't really have any accolades. <laughs> Besides the fact that um, when I first entered Spelman, I really didn't know if I wanted to act, if I wanted to do politics, or I was freshman class president, really involved in, in that. Um, and then I just started venturing out, and I've worked with people like Roger Bob, who does a lot of Tyler Perry stuff, Kim Fields, Cassie Davis, Felicia Rashad. So I've worked with a lot of people um, since my college career. Uh, Terry J. Vaughn, she would kill me if I didn't say her. She's my mentor. Duh, Brittany. <laughs> uh, Doc Shaw. Like, the list goes, like, it's a, it's a long list, but I'm very blessed and very happy to be here. My expectations for my one woman show. I actually have done one before, but it was for a class project, um, a class called Principles of Acting. And it was a very um, therapeutic experience because that one woman show, a lot like this woman, sh one woman show, is about my life. My expectations from tonight is, first of all, to send the message that the story is about, that we just can't give up on our community and we can't give up on the young men that are consistently dying within our community. And two, I would like to get the feedback. I invited some people that I really trust and that I really love and who I really value their opinions, whether it be them that they are very involved in theater or they're very involved in film. I really value what they have to offer. So tonight, as me and the writer continue to develop what we love, <laughs> because we really started to love this project. As we continue to develop it, we really want to incorporate um, others' opinions so it's the best possible piece. So that's, our, that's my expectation for tonight. Hi, I'm Jure Brion Holder. I am the Kenny Leon Fellow at the Alliance Theater and a recent graduate of Morehouse College. This is my reading of Very Too High, starring Brittany Horton. And I'm really just an Atlanta area playwright and director trying to get my feet wet in the arts environment here. to the motherfuckers tent. But when I stepped in, yo, I totally forgot I was But you walk what's up? With all due respect. What the fuck is Kalamazoo, sir? Very Too High is a one-woman show that started um, several months ago at the end of last semester as I was preparing to graduate Morehouse. My final year at Morehouse, I did a one-man show called The Book of Joe with my Morehouse brother, Christian Wilson. That went really well uh, done at Emory. And I was talking to Brittany Horton, who is my Spellman sister, about maybe doing something with her and kind of an answer to The Book of Joe. So over the summer, um, Brittany and I kind of just um, volleyed some ideas, and she was going through some really intense personal issues um, with gang violence and her family, and I had started an organization about the new Jim Crow, which is mass incarceration of African American males in uh, the United States. And I really wanted to say how this affected women in particular. And she was literally dealing with that with her, in, within her life. So over the summer, I wrote a piece. And when I got back here, Brittany and I just started working. And she said, well, can we do a reading before I go to Bada? And we decided to do a reading, which is what's going on tonight. I want people to walk away from Very Too High excited about unburying the issues in their own lives. Um, the thing with epidemics is it affects most people, and mass incarceration as well as being African American in a society that is really targeting blacks affects most African Americans. And I want people to not be afraid to address those issues and to, to unpack them, to unbury them, to, to address them so that we can move forward as a, as a society. Bury too high is, a meta, is just another way to say a shallow grave, but it, the intention of using an active verb such as buried is to say that this is something that has been intentional. And the title is really cool, and you'll understand by the end of the play when you see it, is that 
she's simultaneously burying one thing and unburying or digging up another. So it's called bury too high in the sense of she's burying something, these issues, she's burying the pain that's addressed, the pain that comes from this, but she's unpacking it, she's dealing with it. And that's the whole, the point is that deal with it, deal. It is only when we begin to deal with issues that we can address the pain and the pain can start to subside because we're dealing with it. Girl, where you coming from looking like that, Stella? Looking like you stepped straight off the tip drill video. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Stella, can I get my groove back too, baby? <laughs> Y'all is so damn foolish. <laughs> <laughs>